America's deadly drone strikes are essentially above the law and must become transparent and accountable. And that's according to the U.N. Special Rapporteur on Human Rights and Counterterrorism. Washington has so far refused to disclose details on where its unmanned aerial strikes occur and how many civilians are killed. Let's get some reaction and insight from journalist and former Pakistani Air Force officer Sultan M. Holly. Thank you so much, Mr. Holly, for joining us uh, here today on RT to talk about this. So UN is calling for action now, but your country has been targeted by uh, U.S. drones for years. Describe to us the situation on the ground. How bad is it really? Well, well, thank you for asking, because the situation is really bad. And uh, Pakistan has suffered pr probably the most in the region, not only because of terrorism, but because of terrorism, which became enhanced owing to the drone strikes. And previous regimes in Pakistan have been accused of actually providing a tacit approval. I'm not sure whether that is true or not. But the fact remains that the drone attacks have caused collateral damage, and the collateral damage in turn has given a mark rise to the number of terrorists because they have been able to recruit some of the uh, relatives of the people who have been slain in these attacks uh, innocently. And uh, that is how the terrorism in Pakistan has spread. We have a new regime here, uh, which is nearly about uh, three and a half months old. But this regime, uh, the, which is headed by Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, it, he is headed towards the United States for his first meeting with President Obama at an official level during his first uh, third tenure now as Prime Minister. And he is carrying the aspirations of the people because in Pakistan there is so much anger that an all parties political conference was held in which every single political party not only participated but they endorsed the fact that the drone attacks are causing maximum terrorism and they have empowered the government to tell the United States of America that it must put an end well, to it. Mr. Holly, we will return Nawaz to this and a public reaction a, uh, a little later. But let me first ask you this. I mean, since you mentioned collateral damage, Washington is saying that precision uh, drone strikes are I'm meant sorry, to I'm cause... Sorry, you're cutting uh, out. You repeat the question? Yes, absolutely. Since you mentioned collateral damage, I mean, Washington is saying that precision drone strikes are meant to cause, uh, you know, small collateral damage, uh, you know, actually less than the conventional warfare. But uh, obviously the situation on the ground is different. To what extent do you agree or disagree with what Washington is saying? No, I... No, I'm sorry. I don't agree with that because uh, uh, the United States apparently is hiding facts. It has not come clean. And uh, I hope that uh, the United Nations, which has not only done its homework, but its uh, own head, the uh, chairman Ban Ki-moon, the uh, secretary general, was in Pakistan only a month back. And he made it very clear that the use of the drones for aggression is totally contravention to international law. And now the report which you just mentioned about Ben Emerson, it uh, carries the same facts and figures. And it is ironical that a little girl like Malala Yousafzai, the teenager who was targeted by the Taliban, uh, recently met President Obama on exactly the same day when she was to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, but she did not get that award. And she was me meeting Mr. Obama, who is a Nobel Prize winner for peace, which is actually ironical because he has caused most, more damage, more mayhem, and has killed more people for which he, uh, yet if he gets the Nobel Prize is very, very ironical. And Malala Yousafzai told him very clearly that, Mr. President, the drone attacks must stop because they are ca causing more terrorism in Pakistan. So I think the United States of America, it is time for them to come clean and they have to take responsibility because not only Ben Emerson, you must be also knowing that uh, Professor Christoph Hahn, the uh, UN Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Killing and Summary Executions, has come out with the fact that this particular use of technical, uh, is, uh, technically the use of drones is a misuse of technology and it is international policing. So it has to come to an end. If it doesn't, I'm afraid terrorism will continue. Well, Mr. Holly, thank you so much for bringing us uh, uh, the uh, situation from the ground and describing to us how things uh, really are in your country. Uh, that was journalist and former Pakistani Air Force officer Sultan M. Holly.